Hey besties, so what I'm working on today is a wrap for the Sour Straws. I'm doing this in Photoshop. Uh, you can also do it in Publisher Word uh, Silhouette. Not in Cricut just because the print and cut measurements are limited to 9.25. Um, so you can't go as wide. We'll start with the measurements here and then we'll go into design and to assembly. Um, so the size that I use for my canvas here is going to be 4.75 in height and 10.5 in width. And um, if you know at the end, if you are making something that you were able to cut to onto a page, then all you'd have to do at this point is just set your canvas back to 11 by 8.5 and you can just add another copy on there and print from this same screen. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and press OK and we will go ahead into designing. The first thing I'm gonna do is enter in some of the clip art. Some I altered a little bit to fit my theme. This I just got from Google. You can get them from Etsy as well. Um, all you have to do is just use the PNG version. This I made by just putting his face over the clip art. So, you know, you don't have to really get too fancy, but I just wanted to personalize it a little bit. And he got like a kick out of the fact that his face was on an a race car driver body. So these I did in Photoshop. I can show you in a separate video how to do it. It's basically the Hot Wheel um, logo that I kind of switched around um, to add in his uh, birthday. I also did one with his name that I'm going to use for other things at the party. Um, but this I'm just going to use um, with six birthdays. I'm going to start entering in my text. Okay, now I'm going to do is add in the tire tracks. I got that from Google as well. All I did was type in tire track PNG and um, I found this one. So this is what I'm going to use. I am going to end up uh, flipping this around and I'm going to make it negative 90 and then I'm going to hold shift and I will make it thinner. And then I will add it here to the end of my son's name. I'm just going to add in a drop shadow on my clip art. I think I want it to be maybe that color. And you can adjust these. Okay, I think I want it kind of like that. But if you're ever you're doing like any other kind of clip art, you can always adjust that color here. If you wanted it red, like a particular red, then you can click on the color picker and it will adjust it out for you. Um, I'm just going to go with um, like somewhat of a yellow. I'm gonna throw in some uh, blending options on these as well. So I'm just going to do an outer glow, um, maybe a bevel and emboss.
that's all I'm pretty much going to do. I'm gonna print this on photo sticker paper. Um, it's the one that I'll pretty much use 100% of the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and press print. And as you can see here, this is a full size sheet of paper. I'm gonna go ahead and press print again. And then I will change my paper settings here to photo paper glossy. And I always print on best quality. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut around my wrap. So there we have that. Next thing I'm gonna do is just put this um, over it and I'm just gonna make a crease on where I will be folding mine over. So I want it to be basically just like this. Um, so I'm just creating a crease. Like that right okay so now that I have my crease I am going to peel my backing off okay and then I'm gonna sit this down okay so I'm just gonna fold this over and make it like as tight as possible on there and I'm going to fold this okay. so I'm going to crimp this down and then I'm going to use my pinking shears to cut off the edges If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.